Brave Browser does not get the attention or the credit that it deserves in the cryptocurrency space or in the web browser space. Now I'm going to be talking about this product basically just as a web browser. I know this is a crypto channel. I'm a big crypto guy. <clears throat> crypto is how I first learned about the Brave Browser. But um, the reason why I want to highlight it is because it's really providing a product that is good for the end user even if you don't care about cryptocurrency at all at all it's using it it's utilizing the technology for its product but at the end of the day the product is just better than the alternatives that's what we need to see with blockchain brave has been doing it for years that's the other thing they've been doing this for like year like three four years they really don't get the credit they deserve and i'm going to tell you a few reasons why I've been using Brave on my phone for, like I said, years, and um, the best reason for it is this. Check this out. <clears throat> I got YouTube right here. This is not the YouTube app. This is through Brave Browser. Um, I can play a song, and I can fucking close the screen. You can't do that. You can't do that. That's the thing. That's money right there. You had to pay for YouTube Red or whatever their subscription service is to be able to do that. I can now play a YouTube song or a video, anything, close my screen, go skateboarding, drive, <clears throat> not kill my battery. I heard that you can use Spotify with no ads. That's the other thing. There's no ads on Brave. So you have the choice to either view ads or not view ads. And if you view ads, you actually get paid in cryptocurrency so I don't even want to get too far in the cryptocurrency aspect of it because this browser itself is just a better alternative and that's why I've been using it for years um, now you do actually get paid to view ads or you can just never view ads so you're not gonna get any YouTube ads all those crazy annoying ads you get before YouTube videos and everywhere else you won't get those at all what you will get if you sign up for it which is easy as clicking a button little banner ads um, to your browser or to your phone that you don't even have to view you just close them and you get paid for that you won't get any ads through your just general web browsing it's like having an ad blocker installed always now sometimes the ad blocker through brave fails I feel like um, places like Google, they actually like keep up with this and try to counter it. You just got to reinstall the app every once in a while. Um, that being said, like I said, check this out. I have to reinstall the app too because I haven't been getting ads. You won't be able to see it actually, my bad. But yeah, I got $70 just from using the app. And that's probably an accumulation of like three or four months, you know, just by browsing. And the, the downside with BAT, why it doesn't get a lot, why like people like to hate on it is because you have to use KYC to actually extract your BAT, which is the token that you get for watching ads, which I don't like either. Um, that's a little antithetical to crypto is having to verify your identity to exchange and move your funds. But at the end of the day, like they're probably not trying to piss off the government They've been around for a long time, and what that did is this. I've never moved my bat. I've never sold it. I've never exchanged it. I actually don't even really give a shit about it. That's new to the crypto world. Whenever you're getting into cryptocurrencies, you're trying to make money. It depends. You might be there for freedom, for liberty, for all these reasons. But you're trying to make money. You're not trying to lose your money. And I'm not saying you're going to lose or not make money with bat, but... It's different the there's a product like using the browser itself is just better I don't get ads and I get to close my screen on YouTube and uh, those are the two main things I can think of right now but it's so much better to where I don't even give a shit about the bat rewards so I have all these bat rewards accumulating and I'm assuming so do all these other people. They're never going to sign up for KYC. They're never going to pick a picture of their ID just so they can get their bat rewards. So they basically have all these rewards just sitting there untouched. People aren't dumping them. It's pretty smart. Now I'm not, <clears throat> don't even want to get into that. I'm kind of rambling now. The moral of the story is 
bat browser it does not get the attention that it deserves and it's actually better than other browsers and here's what it looks like so let me show you guys uh brave i kept saying bat browser bat is what you earn brave is the platform so brave.com it's super easy i'm using the brave browser right now to show you guys so um this is the brave browser it's basically just a um, skin of chrome it runs on chrome but it has all these added features and you earn cryptocurrency and stuff so i haven't set up my wallet on the desktop um so i have zero bat but i have other what like i got my desktop behind me this is actually my laptop my desktop does actually have um all this stuff set up and earning bat this is actually my laptop where i don't have it set up so you can download it you can use it on your um Apple. Oh, actually, I don't know about Apple. I don't have Apple, but you use it on Android for sure. I'm guessing you can use it on Apple. It's been around for a long, long time. Uh, and you can use it on PC for sure. I don't know about Mac. I'm assuming Mac. If you hit download, it automatically does Windows, but I'm assuming you can use this on Apple, Mac as well. You can definitely use it on Android and PC. So hopefully, you guys, if you didn't already know about Brave, most people know about Brave, but I'm kind of wanted to show this to people who don't even use cryptocurrency because that's actually I've had only positive experiences people who don't know anything about cryptocurrency and still don't own Bitcoin or anything and don't care about it at all I show them brave browser and they're like oh fuck that's dope as shit they still don't care about blockchain or cryptocurrency that's the point I go, bro, look, you, you could close your fucking screen when you're watching YouTube and you could uh, do all this other cool stuff and you don't get ads. And if you want ads, you actually get paid to watch them. Your average person doesn't really care about getting paid to watch ads. That's just, it is what it is. I care. Other people care. Other people in marketing and stuff probably care because they like kind of have like a, they could see the future on what that means. Um, but people do care about being able to close your phone screen, not watching ads. Brave Browser lets you accomplish both of those things while using blockchain in the background. That's the point of all of it. So I think we need to give Brave gigantic props. And I only ever see people giving Brave shit. And the reasons I see them giving them shit are one, kind of stupid, like, I think I, you'd have to look at the charts. Like I said, the product is so good, I don't even care about the charts. I don't know if you would make money holding bat. You would because if you're just using the product. But I don't know if like people are like, oh, like Bitcoin, you're fucking going to 10x your money in one year because that's just the way it is. I don't know how it is with bat. People like to talk about shit on how, oh, you're just fucking never going to make money. And which is like, who cares? And then people like to talk trash on the KYC, which I don't like the KYC either. Um for the last million years I've been using bat there's always been a rumor that the KYC is going to eventually go away I don't know so appreciate you guys please like and subscribe to the channel and I use brave browser I, I highly recommend it it's good to get away from Google um, and Microsoft like no one's using Microsoft to browse the internet but most people are using Chrome should, I use Chrome some for some reason. I have no idea why. I just realized today, I was like, why the fuck am I using Chrome? <laughs> so, And then Firefox is pretty chill, but Brave Browser lets you do a lot of cool stuff, lets you earn money, and it's using the blockchain behind the scenes. So appreciate you guys.